Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Sometimes when working on a song, it would be great to be able to check out alternate arrangements for the song. We know that we can drag and drop regions in Reaper to rearrange a song on the fly, but it would be great to be able to check out different arrangements non-destructively. Fortunately, SWS Extensions has just what we're looking for. Let's take a look. The project I've got open is my cover of War All The Time, which I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing by now. I swear I'll finish those vocals at some point. Before we get into the rearrangement part, I'd like to show you a script that I found useful for situations like this. As you can tell, I've got markers in my project, but I don't have regions. There's a script from user cfillion, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, that allows me to create regions from existing markers or vice versa. The script does require that you have Repack installed. If you're not familiar with Repack, click the link above to learn more. There's not a special repository that's needed for this. This is included with the default repositories for Repack. So we'll go to Extensions, Repack, Browse Packages, and search for Insert Region. If you'll note the author column, we'll see one here with user cfillion, and the script is Insert Regions at Markers and vice versa in Time Selection. As the name would suggest, this will create regions from markers that fall inside of our time selection, but what I've found is if I don't have a time selection at all, I can go to Actions, Show Actions List, and search for that script, Insert Regions, and if I run this script, again with no time selection, it creates a region between all of my markers. Each of these regions also takes on the name of the marker that it covers, so I've got my verse, interlude, chorus, and so on. This is a much faster alternative to creating time selections to make your regions or using the region manager. The next section to create rearrangements on the fly will require SWS extension. I highly recommend SWS extension for some of the features it adds to Reaper. If you don't have SWS extension or maybe you're not even familiar with what it is, click the link above. Let's close out of our actions list and go to extensions and region playlist. We start off with a blank dialog because we don't have a playlist yet. I'll click the plus sign next to playlist and we'll call this test. At this point, we're in edit mode for our region playlist. You'll see we have columns for the region number, the name, the loop count, start and end time, and length. But currently, we've got no regions in the playlist. Right-clicking a blank space in the region playlist will give us a few options. Under the playlist menu, we can create new playlists or copy, delete, or rename existing playlists. We can add all regions. We can add specific regions. There's settings for editing the project additional options for the region playlist utility. There's an OSC feedback option, which is currently showing no options for me since I have no OSC devices. And finally, an option to dock the region playlist in your docker if you desire. So to check out a new arrangement of the song, I can go to add region and click on the desired region that I'd like. Let's start with our intro. And next, I'd like to go straight to the final pre-chorus and chorus. I can right click again, go to add region, and I'll choose region number 11, which is the final pre-chorus. And once again, I'll right click, go to add region, and choose my final chorus, which is region 12. If I'd like to loop any of these regions, I can double click in the loop count column and change the number. Let's run through the intro twice before hitting the pre-chorus. I'll change that to two. And now with my new playlist configured, I can click play in the region playlist dialog to listen to this arrangement. on the second iteration of the intro, and it should go straight to region 11 to play the pre-chorus next.
playlist is working exactly as I've laid out. Now if I'd like to hear the song in its original configuration, I simply go back to my main window and play the song as normal. This gives me the flexibility to be able to hear my song in its original configuration or make as many playlists as I'd like. And we can create as many playlists as we need within the project. Another option that I like is the drag and drop ability for rearranging a playlist. Let's remove these regions and add all of the regions from the project. I'll right click and choose add all regions. And at this point I can take region 10 if I'd like and drag and drop it after region three and rearrange these in whatever manner I'd like. Again, this is all non-destructive, so it's not affecting the primary project. If this is something that you might like to use for performances and would like to be able to see your playlist fairly clearly without accidentally editing, click the lock icon in the upper left to enter monitoring mode. This will provide a larger display that shows the region currently playing as well as the next one that's up and coming. I'll make a quick rearrangement and give that a try. Let's move our interlude to the front, followed by the final pre-chorus, and followed by the intro. I'll click my lock icon in the top left, and play. I can resize this however I need. So as you can see, Region Playlist and SWS Extension gives you some powerful options to allow you to preview additional arrangements in your songs. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee, I Like Coffee, or Super Thanks link below. Don't forget to check out my drum editing and reaper course on ProMix Academy. And check the link in the description to join us on Discord to engage with other Reaper users. We'll see you next time. I gotta start drinking this before it gets cold.